Welcome to the Mortgage Rate Weekly Market Update for the week of February 27th, 2017. Hello, I'm John Thomas with Prime Residential Mortgage. Here to give you an update. Well, last week was a very good week for mortgage rates. Uh, mortgage rates were able to move lower. If you take a look at the bond chart on the screen, you can see mortgage bonds hit a floor support and have been able to rally off that support and move higher, which has moved interest rates slower. Um, so we ended Friday on a good note, but if you look at the bond chart, we did just touch a, a tough ceiling resistance. That the last time we hit that, bond, uh, bonds had actually sold off, interest rates moved higher. So with uh, the, the big rally in bonds hitting a, a, a stiff level of resistance, we're going to recommend locking your mortgage rate to start the week. Go ahead and take advantage of these uh, gains you've gotten in the bond market, these lower, slightly lower interest rates. Lock them in because we think we're going to hit that ceiling resistance and probably be turned lower, at least in the short term. So go ahead and lock it in. Now, if we look at the economic news, first big news was the Federal Reserve had a meeting. They released the minutes of those meetings last week, and basically they stated that uh, they are going to raise short-term funds rates, the, the Fed funds rate, uh, soon. But we don't think they're going to do it at the March meeting. They said when the rate comes, it's going to be data dependent, depending on the job sector and on inflation. Uh, if inflation starts heating up, they're going to move it sooner rather than later. And if the labor market continues to improve, they'll move, um, move it up sooner rather than later. But right now, we do not think a rate hike is on the table for March. So that's going to be good news there. And then we saw retail sales for January 2017 were up 0.4%, which was a solid number showing consumers are more upbeat about the economy as the labor market improves. So retail sales across the board are uh, reported positive numbers, exception to auto dealers, and retail sales were up 5.6% from January of 2016. So great economic news there that uh, supports a strong economy moving forward. Weak initial jobless claims, another indicator of the labor market and the economy on whole. Um, that was released on Thursday, 244,000 claims for the week, up slightly from the previous week, but still well below that 300,000 mark was well, still a very good report. This is actually the sample week that will be used in the February's jobs report, which we get the first Friday in March. Um, the other great news there is the four-week uh, moving average for jobless claims moved down 4,000 to 241,000. That's the lowest since 1973. So in terms of initial jobless claims in the labor market, showing very strong, very good indicator there as, as we move into the um, out of the first quarter into the second quarter of the new year. And then housing news, some very good news on housing. Existing home sales for January 2017 were released last week and jumped higher by 3.3% to 5.69 million units on an annualized basis, which is a 10-year high. Housing demand remains strong as home buyers are shrugging off increasing home prices and higher mortgage interest rates. The median existing home price, um, home sale price rose 7.1%. From January of 2016 so we see home uh, the, the value of the homes going up the number of sales going up so it's a very strong housing market it's a great time to get out there and buy it's better to buy early in the year than later in the year so that you take advantage of any price appreciation throughout the year then we saw new home sales for January 7, uh, 17 that was a great rebound from December uh, rising 3.7% to 550,000 555,000 units and up 5.5% from January of last year the median um, sale price of a new home is up 7.7% from last year, up to $312,900. So, very good news in the housing market. Existing home sales are doing great. New home construction is doing great. The challenge we have right now in the market is low inventory. So, it's best to get out there now looking for a home. As the spring market comes, more buyers come, more competition. We still have a shortage of homes. So that's going to drive the price up and it's going to make it harder for you to get that home under contract. So, the sooner you can get pre approved and get out there looking for a home, the better. So, if you need help with that, give us a call 302 703 or go online www.delawaremortgageloans.net. Now, on the local news, the next first time home buyer seminar. Um, is Saturday, March 18th in Newark, Delaware at the Christian Hilton Hotel from 10 a.m. to noon. And the next one in Dover is Saturday, March 25th, and that is from 10 a.m. to noon at the Dover Holiday Inn right there on Route 13. Now, you can register for one of those events by calling us at the office, 302-703-0727, or register online, www.delawarehomebuyerseminar.com. Look forward to seeing you guys next week.